We have an incredible sense of excitement about what we're doing. And yet what we're doing is making sense of an incredibly devastating tragedy. And it's very hard to, or it can be challenging to keep both of those things in mind. Since maybe March 14th of 2011 has just taken on level after level after level of complexity as one realizes what a complex phenomenon um, Japan faced, is facing, has faced, will face. Um, so it's a really, it's a complicated project in many, many ways. Uh, it's probably really transformed the way that we look at what we do. Um, as researchers, as teachers, as as observers of Japan, it's hard for hard for me to really describe the course yet because I think it's it's also the case that that Andy and I are are, are kind of students of this ourselves. I mean, I think it's pretty safe to say that both of us are are entering the digital world um, perhaps a little bit later than some of our students. It was certainly later than some of our students. Yeah, I think that's fair. So, I mean, there, there, are, there are lots of things that we will be learning from our students who may come into the class. I expect that the students are going to bring uh, sets of digital skills that, and familiarity with programs and, and ways of thinking about digital materials that, that will be possibly quite startling to us um, in, I hope, very productive ways. I mean, it's, it's called a seminar. We're looking in the range of 15 students that we hope will be diverse in interests and also locations across the campus. Undergrads, GSS grad students, professional school students, maybe public health, maybe government, school of government, probably likely some design issues of urban planning and reconstruction. There were people at Harvard in the business of building digital archive and also usage methods of digital archives. And that was a key transforming moment when we came into the touch with the people at Medilab and also the nonprofit Ziga that sort of overlaps in some personnel with Medilab and realized that they were the ones and some of our grad students who brought in this idea of participation, that you need to build something where the user of it is a participant in the making of it. The students are going to be uh learning how to synthesize and present media of different sorts in what hopefully will be a well-integrated um, presentation that is not only data-rich but also analytic. I would count it as success if we, if we have motivated a number of students to, to learn and embrace how to do this, um, how to synthesize, how to how to present, how to use data to make arguments. One of the things that will, I hope, result from this as a positive benefit is the potential for using it will be demonstrated to other users around the world. So if we come out of this course with half a dozen really powerful examples of what can be done, we can then send out the word, get people to look at that. I think that our partners in Japan also feel that if what comes out of this awful tragedy are ways to build understandings of events in the world and disasters that will have meaning for dealing with future events and disasters. That's a good thing.